Hey guys, sorry it's been so long since I have put up a YouTube video. Um, I was on a roll and then I just kind of let everything get in the way of me putting out some content. Um, I was really busy at work and then Tony and I were traveling and doing some hiking and just having lots of fun and so that is my fault for not staying on top of everything. Um, so no excuses there, I still need to get everything done regardless of what's going on in my life. Um, that's the way I go about my training and nutrition and contest prep. So I really need to make sure that that is also what I do when it comes to putting out my videos and other content. I can't procrastinate and put things off and set it aside. Um, just because I'm a little bit busier. I've really got to get my stuff done. But anyways, um, here is a little bit of a prep update. So I am about 11 weeks out from my pro debut. Um, everything is going really smoothly. I still don't feel like I'm dieting, which I've said it quite a few times. It makes me a little bit nervous because in the past, when I am 11 weeks out, I feel like death already. Um, but I still feel really strong in the gym. Um, I've got pretty good energy just throughout the day. Um, I'm still eating a good amount of food and have a really high refeed day with a cheat so that makes prep really easy um, but according to my coach everything is right on track I'm losing about a pound a week and he said that um, we're gonna start shooting for a pound to two pounds a week now so I'm excited to start seeing some real progress I am slowly leaning out, um, which of course I wish it was faster because who doesn't want to see results like tomorrow, um, but this is how I'm going to be able to lean out and still maintain a lot of my muscle mass, which is the goal. I don't want to just diet away all my hard work, so I want to maintain my as much muscle mass as I can as well as as much strength as I can. Um, especially because I am going to be doing a powerlifting meet um, about a month after my two pro shows. So, yeah. And I will not really be training for the powerlifting meet. This one is really just going to be, be for fun. Um, because one, I will have just dieted for 20 weeks. Um, so I'm going to be a lot smaller probably weaker. I don't know what weight class I'll be competing in, but um, I'm just going to train hard no matter what, really focus on my two pro shows, and then have that meet afterwards just for fun. Well, that's about it for the update. I mean, everything is going really good. Nothing too exciting yet. I'm not dying. Um, just following my macros. Which, actually, speaking of, of macros, this is my first time doing a contest prep using macros. And I've got to say, it is so amazing. Um, I've done four shows so far, um, and I've always done, like, a meal plan. Being told exactly what to eat, exactly when to eat it, which was fine. I made it work, but... I wasn't able to go out, or if I was at a hotel, I just had to make sure to bring all my food. Where like this past weekend, Tony and I went out of town, and I was able to eat the hotel breakfast. Um, I just made everything fit my macros, which was amazing. I mean, I still bring my food with me, um, just for the rest of the day, but still, I'm able to eat pretty much whatever I want. Um, I naturally just like to eat healthier things. It's easier for me to track my macros that, that, that way and keep things consistent. Um, and then I just perform better as well, like I've mentioned plenty of times in past videos. But yeah, that's my prep update right now. Sitting at about 11 weeks out. Um, and everything is going really good. So I will definitely keep you guys posted and make sure to stay on top of putting out my videos and blogs and everything like that. No more slacking on my end. So, yeah. 
Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a hike that Tony and I did, which was a little bit rough because it was 8.7 miles, but it was absolutely gorgeous and totally worth um, all of the pain the next couple of days. So enjoy the rest of my workout and then seeing our hike. Out here hiking with Tony. Oh, hey. Watch out. Look at that. We're behind the waterfall. Waterfall number four. Can't really see it. There's no railing. Get over there. Ah! Cat. Don't! Oh, hold your backpack. No, oh, I got won't. you. Little tiny species. Tony goes over, and I go under. <laughs> Here's the next waterfall. I'm a little scaredy cat trying to record it. The little baby one. Which one's your favorite so far? Um, probably the second one we were able to go under. Yeah. Yeah, that one's pretty cool. I like that one too. Yeah. I don't think I could pick though. Which one's my favorite? Probably the two that we've been under. Yeah. Probably the two best ones so far. I don't know what number waterfall this is. I think Tony and I are about halfway through the hike. It's an 8.7 hike. So me being uh, like five weeks in the Don't press, I'm a little I'm tired. Shut I'm up! Video while I'm trying to video. Shut it off. This one's a big one. So this is probably the coolest part of this hike is you can go underneath. Ah! Underneath most of the waterfalls, but it's very muddy. So cool, I love it. So it looks like I'm getting extra cardio in with all of these dang stairs. Here's our last waterfall. 